Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I want to share a quick unboxing of the Samsung Optical Smart Hub. Now, I first saw this product back at CES 2012, and I was quite impressed with its functionality. However, because it was priced so high at launch, $130 retail, and its software was half-baked, it was not received well in the least. As a result, you can now find this drive for a lot less money. You're looking at somewhere around $50 or less, and I think it represents a great value. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys today. I'm also hoping the software has had some time to mature. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. If you're wonder wondering what this product actually does, it's an external DVD drive, as you can see right here. That is what it looks like. And it has Wi-Fi capability, so it allows you to stream whatever is in that drive, DVD or CD, to devices like tablets, phones, televisions, and laptops, as long as they're Wi-Fi enabled. It will also allow you to share things that you have on a jump drive or hard drive because it also has a USB port. So really it goes above and beyond just reading disks wirelessly. It also, by the way, allows you to write to them, but there are some limitations. So between reading and writing to CDs or DVDs, streaming content wirelessly, not only from the optical drive, but also, like I said, from the USB port, this really does represent a, gr a great value if you're looking to enhance your wireless streaming capabilities within your home network or even on the road also things like road trips there are all sorts of uses for this so with that said you guys can see the marketing DLNA here as well smart backup built in uh, it really it's just about value at this point because this product was really great in terms of conce uh, the concept but the execution just wasn't quite there and you guys can see it's showing you you know from external storage to optical storage this is going to let you do quite a bit so with all that said, I think I've introduced you guys and told you just about everything you need to know. Of course, in terms of apps for it, you've got uh, apps available uh, for Android uh, as well as iOS in order to use this. I believe uh, it's supported by iOS. So with that said, let's get it open and see what we've got. Now, part of me using this and reviewing it for you guys is going to be determining whether or not that software really has matured, like I was mentioning before. Because at launch, the software was very crude, uh, but I'm not so much concerned with crude as I am just actual functionality. So the drive is plastic, not that that's surprising. Uh, a piano high gloss finish. I'm not even going to unwrap it for that reason. I'm sure it will be a fingerprint magnet. magnet. As you guys can see on the back end, we've got a power LED, USB LED, Wi-Fi activity light, uh, and then the network activity light. I believe that's what that is. Um, and in terms of connections, you can see right there your Ethernet port. So if you need to you know, go wired, uh, as well as the power port is right there. Uh, USB connection, reset, uh, as well as uh, your external uh, storage support. So if you want to hook up, as I mentioned before, a jump drive or a hard drive, uh, this is your way to do it and then share whatever's on that drive wirelessly uh, on the front end We've got the actual eject button uh, And that's pretty much it and of course an activity light uh, to go with it So there is the drive plastic build pretty lightweight But I thought this was a relevant device especially in today's day and age when all of the ultra books uh, that are out there obviously omit optical storage that's where, in my opinion, this kind of makes optical storage a little bit more interesting. Uh, for those of you out there who don't use it anymore, this obviously isn't going to be something on your short list, but for people who are looking for an external drive, I think having that wireless cap uh, capability is far more interesting and far better of a value than just getting a typical uh, external DVD burner, especially uh, depending on how that external uh, burning Functionings, uh, excuse me, functions wirelessly. That to me is one of the more interesting elements. So here's the uh, USB cable uh, that is included. We've also got our actual power adapter right here, which is sizable. I'll say it's not a small one. Uh, it is pretty large, and considering this is something that you want to be portable, since it is an external drive, I would have liked to have seen something smaller. But this is a negligible complaint considering. Uh, how much this drive should be able to accomplish when it comes to sharing media. And then you've got some included software. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that also gives you uh, the, you know, the quick start guide on how to set it up. So really the main concern comes down to software functionality. I know it's going to work fine as an external 
uh, optical drive. It, what I'm really interested in is that ability to share whatever is connected to the USB port as well as wireless burning because that's where I see the real novelty with this. Uh, again, for those of you looking for something for a road trip, as long as you can actually plug this into your car, you're good to go and you should be able to allow uh, your family members to share. I'm not exactly certain on the uh, limitations on how many devices can share what's on board at one time, whether you know one person can be watching a DVD here, another accessing the USB media. These are the things I'm going to report back to you guys as I uh, put it through the paces. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.